Thanks for joining me with another 6C past paper question. Today we are looking at HSB paper 2, year 2015. And we are going to be looking at question number 6 only. Now our reason for looking at this particular question, we are looking at the house fly. And in most cases, persons would be able to tell us about egg larvae pupae adult. But in this question, much more is required. So we thought that it would have been prudent to share it with our students. Please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. It's very important when you subscribe to click that notification bell and select all. When you select all, you will always have all of our latest publication, including those that are coming out for you to get exam ready. So let's look at question number six. The housefly is an insect which transmit pathogen from waste or fecal matter to food, thus causing disease. Figure 4 shows the life cycle of the housefly. Now, they could ask you about the life cycle. They could also ask you about the life history of the housefly or mosquito. But today, we're looking at the housefly. So the question wants us to look at, and remember we're looking at the 2015 question number six, so you could fetch yourself a paper and compare your answers to these. As these answers are supposed to provoke a response, which you are going to leave respectfully in the comments below. So you are supposed to name the stages labeled A and B. And the stages here labeled A and B, A here would have been V egg there we have it the egg and b here would have been the pupae now we are also supposed to identify the duration of a process labeled one two three and four and we're supposed to write our answer on figure four and this is of course figure four so we started out by saying a is the egg and the egg is going to take about 6 to 24 hours to hatch. And when it hatches, it hatches into a larvae. After 4 to 10 days, the larvae will itself uh, evolve or turn into a pupae. Here we have the pupae. And after about 3 to 6 days, that pupae will now turn into the adult. Now, it emerges into an adult. And the adult, having emerged, will be able to mate 14 days thereafter. And after that 14 days, another 4 days, the adult should be laying eggs. So in total, 18 days, the adult will be laying eggs. Now, you need to master this for both students who are doing biology and HSB as biology required to look at the mosquito and the housefly, so too does the HSB syllabus. That would be six nice marks you would have earned there. Then we continue down after Betty Bob graduation dinner. She becomes ill and the doctor suggested that she is suffering from gastroenteritis. So just three signs, symptoms that Betty Bob may have and advise her of the causative agent for gastroenteritis now gastroenteritis could be caused from typhoid it could be caused from cholera it could be caused from uh, uh, amoeba amoebic exposure and pretty much make it very simple by drinking water that is not clean or exposure to uh, flies that would have been well, would have perched on contaminated matter and they would have been able to pass this pathogen onto you. Now, signs and symptoms of gastroenteritis. The first one we want to start with is diarrhea. So you're going to have running of the belly, as we would say in the Caribbean. You are going to have diarrhea. You're going to have abdominal pain, which means that the belly, most persons call it the belly, that is going to hurt. You're going to have some pain there. And on the inside, we're going to be having damage to the walls of the intestine and, of course, the stomach. In some cases, this could lead to bleeding. 
Now the causative agent I have actually placed two here. Uh, bacterium is responsible for that typhoid cholera uh, gastroenteritis attack. And we also have the amoeba, which is of course a protozoan. So we have to look at these questions very carefully. I would have uh, had the opportunity to teach you already diseases. So now we're looking at questions and I'll try to get as many questions out as is possible. So we move on to C, section C. Now typhoid is a disease that can also cause gastroenteritis. So just one other disease that can cause gastroenteritis and explain two measures that could be used to prevent the occurrence of gastroenteritis. Now, if gastroenteritis is caused uh, by cholera and typhoid and amoebic exposure, then, of course, a lot here could be in our answer. Now, the other disease that we're going to be looking at other than typhoid is, of course, going to be cholera. Now, the measures to prevent gastroenteritis would be avoid drinking and using untreated water more so if the water is or was contaminated by feces you really don't want to do that because you'll be setting up yourself for a fall now use only treated water for food drinking and domestic use you really don't want to expose yourself to these untreated water that might of course contain sewage not that i'm saying that you should go and treat any river i'm not saying that or any natural water body because you could of course cause a harm to the ecosystem now practice proper sewage disposal you really don't want to go and release sewage on open land or in our rivers or a stream or a pond. You really don't want to do that. So you want to ensure that you are practicing proper sewage disposal. You want to keep food area clean and free from fly. And food area would include the surface that you are looking about the food on, looking at the uh, utensil. You want to do that. You want to ensure that you have proper lighting, proper uh, insect control mechanism to ensure that the area is free from flies. Thanks much for stopping by. This is just one question of the many that we'll be answering. And this is, of course, from the 2015 Human and Social Biology paper. We would have just answered question number six. Please be reminded to join us on a Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 5.05 p.m. for live classes. Be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. And when you subscribe, ensure that you hit that notification bell so that you will be informed whenever there is a new publication. See you later.